have been a Belgian base of Tanah yeah. just on the evening before going to Red Bull Motocross of Nations to America. So what do you expect of the Red Bull Motocross of Nations this year? Yeah, I don't know. I'll try to qualify with the starting team and then try to finish top 10 and see how it goes. For me, I want to make good results, good races. It's uh, a bit difficult, I think, because it's uh, quite high altitude and not so much experience and not so much equipment with us to fix some things with a bike or something like that. We see how it goes. Now, this year, a lot of things happened. You won your third GP of your career. You finished six overall in the world, which uh, was, I guess, a, it's a good result. Uh, what were the highlights for you and the lowlights of the year? Um, yeah, well, for sure the Grand Prix win and the uh, heat win in Rocket. That was, uh, that was like riding, riding was very good there. And the uh, yeah, low moments was uh, in USA, you know, I had problems with the bike two times. Gene had the bike problems. So should not happen. I mean, for sure, it was in Lombo, like first heat, running out of fuel. So. Where it would make the good good results, like things things went wrong. Yeah, and and if you had had those results, then uh, in a higher position in the in the standings would have been possible. Yeah, for sure. All right, now um, you're now making the move to DM for next year. You've been to Pesaro to test the bikes. Um, how has the bike been for you? Yeah, it was good. I felt good. Like, uh, I don't know what to say, it's a good bike, I liked it, and uh, so I think I was only like one time riding, it just see the feeling, so I still need to work hard to, uh, for next year I think, so uh, the winter time will be busy for testing uh, many things. And, and you have um, your cousin, Aiga, will stay in the team with the bike. So it's the first time you guys will be in a team together? Mm, yes, yeah, same team together. The, um, the uh, Aiga, of course, now he's had a bad injury and um, he's coming back from the injury. How's it going with the recovery of it? He says it's going okay. So, so he's riding already and training and I think. Uh, I think it's it's going kind of good, but yeah, it's uh, difficult to say. You know, still you need to come back racing, and it's uh, quite hard. I think. Yeah, that's true. Um, the um, <coughs> next year, you have you have more riders coming to MX One class. You have uh, uh, Frostart coming, uh, maybe Sean Simpson, and, and more. So the class is going to be even more competitive. Uh, what are you expect? What do you expect? Will, will happen or what, what are your goals for next year? Yeah, it will be more difficult again. Every year it took sport was more professional, I feel like the training and personal trainers and uh, personal coaches and everybody already have them. Everybody who's top 10 have them. So it's, uh, it's very, very difficult, I think. So, uh, I think already when you make a top 10 in World Championship, it's a really good result. So it's uh, okay. It's nice to be. I mean, overall for every rider to make top 10, it's a it's a big big step. So, yeah. Okay. My goal is to to make better than six and be in top five. Um, now <coughs> you're a family man already. You have two sons and uh, your old friend Tyler Rattray. There is a daughter and uh, he's getting married in a few weeks time actually more or less on the same date that you guys got married on the same weekend only two years later so what advice do you have for him what must he look out for now the family life yeah i don't know <laughs> make, make, make sure the woman doesn't take advantage <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 
and um, yeah, and you will uh, you will see Tyler. I think I, I think you will still go to the Motocross of Nations. I'm not sure we'll check with him, but I'm sure you guys when you when you see him there, you will look up a bit and talk to him again. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now you have in after you come back from America, there's uh, a Tunnel Lake and Friends charity race in Estonia. What, what's that all about? Yeah, we're like in Estonia. To show the motocross is caring about also like uh, people who are doing something and they get injured and after that it's uh, difficult to move so uh, to get to, be, to organize some uh, yeah, charity event for them so yeah, try to make it very good. So I get a little bit the idea from the from the staff and so he's doing it also, so the share are getting to race that race. So I think it will be quite fun. And, uh, yes, it's a different, uh, different kind of race also. Like it's not just doing a throttle. You must like change the wheel and uh, things like that. So maybe some amateur guy who's really quick changing the wheel can even beat everybody because. Uh, Yes, the race is the wheel all the yeah. time. <laughs> because race, races are short and it's a long motor, so for public it's interesting. And, uh, and we have an uh, option to sell good rider stuff, and uh, all the money goes for charity. And, and which riders will be there? Corneri, Stefan Evans, Harry Gulas, uh, many good Estonian riders. Riders from Latvia. Also, he's speaking with some other riders. I will see. Maybe, maybe this all will come, but uh, yeah, it's uh, not hundred percent sure. So, and uh, we see maybe, maybe some other riders. Yeah, like, uh, sometimes it's difficult to for the riders to come because they, some of them changing the teams and they must go test and and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, Difficult time, in yeah. Year. Difficult time, of the year sometimes. And somewhere it's no time, so much to go to Estonia. Nobody will have the time to go there, but so NTA is the best. But sometimes in NTA, many people have many things to do also. Yeah. And last year you raised quite a bit of money with this event. Yeah, we made good money there. What our, our expectations were like 2,000 euros. It's good to make like that, but we made like. Twelve or thirteen thousand, so and then all of this went to two. Yeah, so uh, and and after that you will train in Estonia with your new bike in in, in the winter. Um, no, I want to take a little holiday after that. I feel like the season is being very long already, and I feel very tired at the moment. Like, especially last two races, I'm not feeling feeling good. So I feel I need to recover from that a little bit and. I need to go to the doctors and make my body fixed up. And I think I need to get rid of the tonsils and I think I need to clean my uh, right knee. I need to do something wrong. Maybe. So we'll see. And um, now you, I, it's really special to train in the winter in Estonia when you do start because of the temperature. What uh, temperatures do you get there in the winter to train? Yeah, for sure it's, we, we do be minus all the time so Sometimes minus five, sometimes minus ten. It's also you can get minus twenty and minus thirty. Minus thirty, okay, you, you keep it inside you to something inside you never go outside training. But, but yeah, minus twenty sometimes you're still going skiing and even riding the bike sometimes. Yeah, I saw there's some video of you with uh, with riding in the snow and, and uh, with the at the beginning of this year. So I guess it will be the same. All right, well, we look forward to that and uh, we look forward to the result. Okay. And uh, good luck. Thanks. Thanks.